Hey guys, uh, with this video, I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, I wanted to give a little bit of a, a visual demonstration of the direction where I want to take the car. Um, I could talk about it as much as I want, but it's sort of when you talk about something like this, it's up to interpretation. You're not really going to know where I want to go. So I've just opened this up in Photoshop and I've just mucked around with it for an hour or so, just doing some rough concept designs. And now this isn't going to look realistic. I'm, I'm going to transform this into a bit of a cartoon image just a bit easier that way. I don't really have amazing skills in Photoshop or anything like that and just sort of use it as a, as a tool to sort of, you know, demonstrate what I want to do. So I've got my car here loaded in. I'm just going to quickly turn this into a cartoon real quick. I've just got some layers here that I've done ahead of time and I'm just going to turn them on. So it's going to be super quick. Cool. So here, here we are. This is the current state of the car. So my first idea is, is I definitely want to look at de-chroming the car. The chrome on the car already is sort of worn and damaged and like it's flaking in areas and it's just like, I don't know how well it's going to clean out. I need to redo all the seals and all the window seals and everything like that in the car anyway. So it's a perfect opportunity to sort of do both at the same time so i mean it's just gonna obviously it's gonna look a lot darker maybe look a little bit more aggressive so whilst i need to change that out i might look at you know going down the route of going black again this is all just a concept idea for me at this moment i haven't locked in any ideas something that i am a bit more confident is in doing is i definitely want to lower this car at some point in time i would be going down the route of getting lowering springs i'm not going to cut them because they're already quite old the suspension is really going to suffer if I just cut these springs. It's not going to be as good as having some nice new ones, which were, you know, obviously a little bit lower and sort of hold a little bit of that rigidity in the suspension there. Otherwise, it's going to go all over the place if I just cut the current ones. And I don't want to go down the route of coilovers because the coilovers basically with shipping are going to be the entire price of the car. And there's a little bit more work involved in, in the coilovers. So... We're going to look at potentially going down some lowered springs. So I'm going to demonstrate that by this. So there we are. We've got some lowered springs. Um, I want to change the rims. I do like the original Volvo rims, but I do want to change them out eventually. Get something, something black, something a little bit see-through so we can see the brake rotor behind it, the caliper, all that sort of stuff. Uh, I think that'll look pretty good. Oh, I almost forgot. Need to put that new piece of trim back in. <laughs> uh, need to do that. Obviously, that's not a real surprise there. Um, moving on from that, next, I, I want to address some of the lights in the car. All the lenses, I mean, they're white, they're orange, the, obviously the brake reds in the back. I want to use clear lenses and tint them all gray. So if I turn that on there, there we go. That's that one there. Uh, obviously it would have to use some colored globes in that. I'm not sure what the state's rules and, and you know, I guess like laws and are to do with headlights and sort of because this is altering the capacity of, of the lights in some sense i'm not sure if, if i'm able to do that but it's definitely something i want to explore so i have to research in my own time and, and i'll sort of update you guys on on what i find on that but this sort of just adds to the aggressive look um with the de chroming also would de chrome the grill out the front here and make that look a little bit more aggressive as well so if we're tinting the lenses i definitely also want to tint the glass that's a pretty no-brainer there I want to get the sun strip on as well. On top of the car, I'm, I'm looking to get a roof rack on it at some point in time. I think the roof racks look amazing on the on the sedans. That really, you know, I, it would complete the car for me. I definitely need to get a, a, a set of roof racks on there at one point in time. Will I be lugging cargo on it? Probably not. It's just there for looks, like a lot of these things are. Um, what else? We've got the fog lights on on the the air splitter at the front. I definitely want to look into doing a, a front skirt under the air splitter. Um, I don't think that's a product that exists. It's something I'd have to make myself. So that is a little bit of a, you know, up in the air, but they've just demonstrated that there. I can't think it's, you know, I don't really think it's that hard, but again, need to look into doing that. At the same time, I want the ducktail on the back. There's no real spoiler, I think, that ever you know, really matches a Volvo sedan. I, I, even the low profile ones, uh, I don't really like them. And we're definitely not putting a massive wing on the back of this thing. The ducktails, I, I really like those. 
look into doing that. It's just a little subtle thing on the back to make it, you know, pop a little bit more, I guess. So after that, um, <laughs> a little bit like fun here. We've got the, the low and slow on the sun strip and we'll also throw up the, uh, the send nudes on the, on the tires. Um, now, will this actually happen? Probably not, but <laughs> it's just a little bit of fun. Uh, hood tie downs, you know, because actually the hood is a good point. I don't know what to do with the hood. It is such a large area of space with not much going on it. You've just got that little bit of elevated space in the middle. There's nothing else really to it. Um, the only other th idea I had, which I haven't got demonstrated here, but maybe the middle of the hood here, I actually just paint it black instead of doing it all gold. Um, sort of keep within those body lines on the hood. I think that would look pretty nice. I, you know, the hood, it, it, you can't sort of have like a massive, you know, like air scoop or anything on that. I, I don't know if I, <laughs> well, I would never really do anything like that, but, um, I definitely want to do something. I've seen some images online. There's not really too much in the ways of like something special for the hood, but maybe maybe we can do something special actually. Maybe we can be the first to do something like that. But as for now, <laughs> do some hood tie downs. Not that this hood is ever going to fly off. This car is not going to be uh, tracked or anything. I, I don't believe. I think if you track this car with the with its current engine, it will probably blow. So. It is just really a daily driver sort of thing. So that's what I've got there. I did throw up a quick sort of rear design as well. Um, we've got the louvers, we've got the ducktail there, um, grayed out all the lenses at the back. We've got the double exhaust tip uh, there. All the, I haven't got it on the front, but all the sort of decals on it, the, the Volvo logo, logos and, and all the models and whatnot will actually paint that all black, I reckon. Same with the, that's the uh, boot lock there as well so yeah i mean that's currently my idea the the whole purpose of this was just to sort of show roughly what i want to do will it all be achievable will i actually get all of this done i don't really know um it's just i wanted to share my ideas for now so we sort of have a clear sort of idea of what i'm trying to work towards now this obviously doesn't include any of the interior um the interior i'll have to think about another time um, I'm not sure if I want to keep the tan, uh, maybe I want to swap it out, just go all black, but that's something I'll think about later on. That's not, I'm not even in, in the right frame of mind to even think about the interior yet. That's a whole different beast, I, I think. So that's what I've got for you today, guys. Um, this does, it's definitely not going to happen anytime soon. This will be a, a huge work in progress over the next year or so or longer. But I just wanted to, like I said, just update you guys, give you a quick little, little video sort of visually demonstrate it rather than just talk about it and you've got nothing to go off so i hope you enjoyed it um stick around i've got a couple videos coming up soon i just need to finish editing them just quickly um but that's going to do with giving the car a bit of a in interior clean and, and fixing up a few of the first sort of problem areas with the car so thanks very much guys um i'll see you on the next video